big do you guys think a black hole is? Maybe like this big? No, it's got to be at least this big. Today, we're going to be learning just how massive black holes actually are. Black holes are one of the most bizarre things that we know of in the universe. Mathematically speaking, any object that has mass can become a black hole. That yes! means that you, that. It is true. whatever you're watching this video on right now, and everything else can become a black hole if you crush it all into a small enough space. That's Wait, so you're telling me if I tried hard enough, I could become a black hole? No. Oh. But you could actually become a black hole. The way that it works is you literally could take yourself and squeeze yourself into it a very, 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 very dead spot, you know, amount like this big, this big, and then you turn into a black hole. And then what happens is the amount of mass per capita is so strong that you, you have your own gravitational pull and you start sucking everything in. And next thing you know, you sucked in the entire world. Then you sucked in entire other planets and entire suns, and then you get bigger and bigger and bigger. That actually that sounds kind of fun. That sounds like a Gario. This space it a shot. is called a Schwarzschild radius. If the you what condense now? all the matter of any object into its See? individual Schwarzschild, I'm actually oh. a black hole. the object will become so unimaginably like like dense that nothing can escape its gravitational pull, not wow. even light. If you wanted to transform yourself into a black hole, then you would have to find a way to condense all of the matter oh. that makes up your body oh. into an area one sextillion times what? smaller than a grain of sand. Oh, oh, that, that, that is way the smaller than I thought. The that gets crushed down into a black hole, the stranger the effect can possibly be. Let's take a Boeing 777 jet, for instance. If somehow the jet suddenly transformed into a black hole, its entire mass would be compacted into an area with an unimaginably tiny radius of just 3.386 to the power of minus 22 meters. So Someone basically what you're saying is yeah, like, you can't even see that, right? Like, that's so tiny oh, no. that you can't even oh, that see is that not with your eyeballs. At all. So, like, that is not if, visible at all. Like, literally, if you walk by this black hole, you would get sucked up without even knowing why you're getting sucked up. No, but up. it's smaller than you, so we know from Agario, if something is smaller than, is smaller than you, then it can't suck you up. Yeah, but what happens when you touch it? Yeah, this because one has hacks turned on. They say that once you get into the suckage zone of a black hole, there's no going back. You can't get out of the suckage zone. So you know, right. you know what I'm talking so about. So then you get it's the it's okay. the event horizon. You get spaghettiified. So what happens if it's this big and then like you poke the black hole? Can you then take your finger out of it? You know what I'm saying? Like what happens? I don't think so. I think your finger is lost. It goes through the wormhole. I don't think that you're going to be able to pull it back out unless the black hole has a mass that's that's like what, you know, tiny enough where your strength can pull it away. Wow. Which no doesn't seem likely. Way. So it's like when you have the first piece of chocolate, like once you eat that first bite, you're going to finish the whole cake. Pretty much. Yeah, that is a metaphor for a black hole. The smallest the atom is a atom. hydrogen atom, which has a radius oh, of you. just 10 to the power of minus 11 meters in size. This would be like comparing the size of a human red blood cell to the entire island of Sicily. <laughs> oh an incredible God. difference in scale that's difficult wow. to really wrap your head around. You, it's this Italy. outrageously tiny black hole would also not last long at all because of the oh. effect of Hawking radiation, which would completely evaporate away the entire mass of the object so in safe. just one okay. second. So that's probably happened at this before, point, like, something explosions. else incredibly strange happens. The entire mass of the tiny black hole would be converted into an insanely high amount of energy equal to 5 million megatons of TNT. The heck? That's that like is 87,000 times more powerful than the largest nuclear bomb that humanity has ever detonated. And I think that's happened to me before when I hit my PR in the gym. It would be enough to completely obliterate the entire planet. If you wanted to transform Mount Everest into a black hole, you would need to crush okay. the entire mountain into a space smaller than a nanometer, which is just one billionth Jeez. of a meter in length, or the size of 10 helium atoms placed side by side me? of each other. Oh gosh, it's so, All right, so I don't think that my brain is fully comprehending this. So like literally you have to crush something that big, like Mount Everest is like the tallest, biggest thing on planet Earth. You have to crush that into, into something that's literally a atom level size. What I would like to know is that like what point Point, does it just like flick a switch and turn into a black hole? Like, what if it's 11 helium atoms? Is it not a black hole yet? And then, like, once it gets to 10, it's like, boom! Surprise! I actually have a black hole. You know what I'm I saying? Wonder, yeah, like, at some point, too, I wonder if maybe as humans, can we make artificial black holes? Is that something that I we think could that eventually do? this happened do? before, actually. I'm pretty sure that scientists have either tried to or have done it already. They gotta suck but yeah, gotta beware. If they make a black hole too big, they're gonna suck up the entire world. So, they could destroy if everything. there was a flyer going around, I would vote to stop all of the black hole testing. Okay, ever. so luckily, it looks like they have tested it, but no one has successfully ever created a black hole on our planet before, so maybe other planets. But also, too, it's saying, like in this video, that the black hole that we could create would be so, so, so tiny that it would just, like, 
shrivel up and yeah, yeah go away in like two seconds so we're safe for now it's completely unthinkable so perhaps if we transformed a larger object like the earth into a black hole then oh, things yeah. might be easier to understand okay. That'd probably if be we the did size of this baseball. the entire planet everything that you've ever known loved or hated Every person and every smaller, thing Adam. that has ever existed here so. would have like to that. all be like crushed that. into a like space the size. size of just a single U.S. penny. See? If you replaced the Earth with this penny-sized black the hole, Earth? nothing would change in our solar system. Our moon would continue to orbit oh, the penny-sized yeah. black because hole. Because we literally, it has the same mass and same gravitational force, but it's literally a penny. A penny is keeping the moon in orbit. How is that possible? How? That is crazy. I can't How? even, my brain is busting right now. It's exploding. And it's not even like this is science fiction. Like, this is a real thing that actually happened. If nothing had actually happened, because the mass would remain equal. If you wanted to e transform the sun squared. into a black hole, however, you would have to condense the entire Dude, thing into baseball. a space with a radius of just three Probably. kilometers. Oh, wow. Such a space okay. would it's only be the it's length way of about one and a half the sun is a lot bigger but than it would Earth. contain the mass <laughs> of the entire sun inside of it. Wow. Once a black hole has formed, oh. though, it can continue to grow in size by absorbing additional matter like nearby gas and dust from its surroundings, or on occasion, they can even consume entire stars and terrible. solar wow. systems. Pretty much just Agario. They can even consume it other really smaller is. black holes to rapidly grow in size and ferocity. Wow. Let's take the black hole XTE J1650-500, That's my example, favorite one! <laughs> which is Elon believed Musk's to be son. the smallest I'm black hole ever yet discovered. It has oh, a radius cute. of just 12 kilometers, which is a little larger than the island of Manhattan, but contains somewhere between the mass of 5 to 10 uh -huh. suns inside of that tiny. So literally 5 to 10 suns collapsed and made that black hole that is literally less than, than Manhattan. That's a metaphor for something. What? You know what I don't get, which is like kind of on topic, very on topic, I think, but how gravity works at all. Like I understand like, oh, there's a lot of mass and so things get sucked into it, but why? Like well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I understand uh, yeah, how it works, crazy. but I don't understand why it works. Like, what are you talking about? And we just get sucked into places because you're a big object. Just uh, one of those things where you just have to accept as reality because if you start thinking about it too much, then you're going to get crazy. It's like, uh, why are we even here? Why can we breathe the air that's around us? Why do I need water every single day? I don't understand the answers to these questions, but I just accept it as reality. We're back to normal, Jack. Stop asking these questions. People get hurt. And there are still far larger beasts than even this lurking out in space. Right. Take another black hole named GCIRS 13E. There are a number of questions surrounding this one's potential existence, but if it's real, potential? then its size is roughly the same as the continent oh, of Europe, all that's while containing boy. the mass of 1,300 suns oh, inside of okay. it. Just I'm kind of curious, how do you guys think, like, how do we know about these black holes? Like, how do we even see them? I know the answer. Uh, it's pretty obvious. It's because... Okay, you explain that, dummy. You put your eye in a telescope and you look into space, Jack. Open your eyes, man. You're in a simulation. Wake up. But it's all dark out there, Adam. How do you know that you're looking at a black hole? Wake up. I have the answer when you guys are running. Wake up. Okay, at the center of every galaxy is a black hole. That is what keeps the entire galaxy afloat and circulating. That's why galaxies are, like, the real, the spiral shape is because in the middle is a giant black hole and so astronomers know exactly where to look to find the black holes although there are also other black holes that are not part of galaxies but the biggest ones are in the center of galaxies how do they know about these smaller ones uh those i those ones i yeah well they yeah those ones well yeah those ones well so even we, this is insanely tiny that. compared to a few more that are out there like hlx-1 which is helix. designated as an intermediate sized black hole Ooh, it has 10. a radius of 295,300 kilometers yeah, think, like, so it's about as run. wide as four jupiters placed side by side Dang, but it we jumped up mind-boggling mass of 100,000 suns <laughs> inside i can't of even it. comprehend Lurking what that in means. the center of the milky way galaxy however is a supermassive oh. class black hole known as sagittarius a. Yeah. It has a That's huge Alex radius of 12 okay. million 700 thousand kilometers, that about so 5% peaceful. of the distance between Earth and Venus. That's but insane. This monster contains the ridiculous mass wow. of 4 million <laughs> 300 thousand suns inside of that area. So obviously they were talking about how like this, like that isn't just when it collapsed, right? It probably was pretty big when it collapsed, but this thing has been around for billions and billions of years oh, and it's just been getting yeah. bigger, right? It like, looks it's like oh, it's big. It's been sucking for a long time, but eventually, eventually it gets too compact or something, but eventually it explodes. Boom!
Ooh. like a, a new big bang will happen. And that is called the quasar, my friends. Quasars are actually insane. Sure, as that sounds, though, matter. we have yet to arrive at the There's largest no known black, in black hole. Look how creepy that is. Universe. It's just, it's just so. Oh, that's what it looks like. Yes, yes. yes. It bangs it time and space. Zero, zero, okay, one, four, it drank the invisibility potion. This titan watch is it, sometimes watch it, watch classed it, just into an entirely that's awesome. separate class of black holes, the ultra-massive class. Whoa. Its radius is 1,600 oh. times greater than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and contains the mass uh, of 40 billion suns. Uh, Let that crazy, sink guys. in for a moment. Take the what? Sun, which is already unbelievably huge compared to anything else on a human scale, and then multiply that by 40 billion times, uh -huh. and you have the mass of this uh -huh. behemoth. Behemoth black hole. No. And if no. you're curious, that's also equal to no. this many Toyota Corollas okay. possible yeah. by hover. I s well, guys, I hope that you learned that black holes are pretty darn big. I did. The worst part is there's still so much more to learn. This is only what we know so far. The craziest thing is that that's not even the biggest thing in the universe. If you guys want to know that, you're going to have to click right here.